Okay, we should be recording. This is my first time actually recording in this new little room I have set up wise. Well, I'm only gonna be here for like an extra month making content because I'm gonna be back in college, but um, yeah, so today I wanted to make a video yapping about comparing entry home pads to purchase. So what you typically have, let's say $200 to $400 price range, you have either the Eltex, Eltec metal pad from this Polish company versus this Indonesian soft pad. And, you know, there's always comparisons around them because, you know, the prices are kind of similar. There's different reviews and experiences from different parties. And for someone who's experienced both, I kind of just wanted to give my full on comments more in depthly in this video because I feel like I've talked about it in the past, but not really in a video form. So, yeah. And also, as you can see, I was supposed to edit this at one point and it's 86 gigabytes. Let's talk about my very first dance pad being the LTEC. This thing, right off the bat, had a lot of problems in my opinion for just like general play. For a normal player, this uh, sensitivity, like the stock sensitivity, I talked to Kali in the past, he said him like a while back. How did you mod your thing? He, he said he doesn't even have the All pennies. Right, that took me right. And okay, this is obviously, I was really, I don't know what the f I'm doing. But the problem is with the LTEC is how every, you know, you typically put a penny on each of these like little, uh, do I have a little drawing tool? There, there would be a penny here, 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 here. That's what you would do for the DDR pads. It just didn't work. It would be either way too sensitive where you would get bads galore, press on a panel, and you would like press two or three times. And for especially something like a center one, you would probably do more like, like two, not like all four. But anyways, yeah, it was just a mess of a pad. I got so frustrated with this thing that the amount of playtime was on this thing was practically trying to mod this thing. And you know, that's that's inevitable with a lot of these pads, right? But um, yeah, it was just definitely like, I paid a lot of money for this, so for an experience that would be worthwhile, and it just wasn't, it wasn't it, Chief. This is kind of nostalgic. All right, once I took the vinegar gold. Sheesh, look at how, so look at how clean those pennies are. This, this is where I tried using copper tape. Do not do copper tape like this, by the way. You want to do it like, you know, I know like Monty's, Text. They were kind of like this. His was fine, and they were actually more thicker. Again, I'm not sure if my LTEC was. I can't speak on my LTEC in behalf of like all LTECs, but even this was like oversensitive. So I had to like put it like uh, strips of uh, tape, kind of like this, like halfway. And again, you can adjust the, the how much you want uh, sensitivity wise by how many uh, overlaps you do. But again, it was just so much experimenting with like nothing I felt was like ever remotely there. Eventually I upgraded this thing and got a ballet bar. This thing was uh, it's kind of wobbly, not gonna lie, but I kind of liked it. I know it's like, oh, you know, don't over tighten the screws, but I'm just trying to give you in the impression of someone who's like first buying a pad. I just want to play the game. It sucks for that, even as like an S12 player. And then modding it is a nightmare. This is where I upgraded the um, the polling rate from 100 hertz to uh, 1,000 because I complained to them about the the thing. It did not fix it, but hey, you know, I really suck at soldering, by the way. You also hear me complaining a lot, like right now, because that's just how much this thing, this pad, infuriated me. By the way, if you want to look more at um, me playing the LTEC, I have all my recordings still in this little uh, LTEC archive playlist on my channel. And even more to this day, can you still see problems? It is, I had that thing in what? 2022. And guess what I am doing? Trying to fix this thing to this day. Modding a friend's pad that I sold to him. Move the I'm, I'm not saying the pad is awful. I'm not saying it's great though. Yeah, the copper shims were the best sort of mod I uh, made for them at the minute. For my play style, being like heel and toe, the thing was undersensitive, but it was more consistent enough where it's like, if you put a lot of your weight there, it was fine. You know, then you can get a good old grasp of just like, how this thing might perform, the hurdles you might have to go through, etc. Okay, now let's look at exhibit B. Let's look at the soft pad. As you can see, this, this thing alone, this is the bulk of where the storage comes from with the whole modding sequence, right? Well, let me explain to you what's happening here. You see why this like panel is like, like doing that? It's just like being held down without anything. It's because the aluminum like material inside, 
see how some of them are kind of coming open. Oh yeah, look at that. So close up and fire, fire. Oh my god, look at that. You have a little, um... You have a little foams... Like, between the, um, the two aluminum plates. And I used tape back then to fix the aluminum. Showing that the broad sensitivity of this thing prior to fixing it was great. That's pretty much the idea of what was happening. And that's where uh, I needed to fix this thing. Actually, these problems started happening in two months, technically. I didn't know it was that early on. It's not the most durable thing ever. It's a soft pad, and um, the foil inside is breaking in. I'm seeing... Wow, look at that. Oh my god, look how clean that soft pad is, bro. I mean, it was only for four months, but my soft pad is nasty now. Oh my god. The reason why I might have also been having more issues is because I'm not good at soldering, and the type of equipment I have is really... And what I might have done was like an inconsistent power. That's why it was also flickering. Like I might have shorted it or something as well. Yeah, it is. I really don't know, but that, that's how it looks like, by the way, with, with the whole like copper wires and stuff. Oh yeah, and some of these things would fall off that I'd have re hot glue them. Yeah, that's cut off. <laughs> if I re this into the USB controller, th that might be able to fix it. This guy's coolest. Oh, this was recent, 2023. I think it might have been dead by then. I tried fixing it and it just didn't work out. I will say, the reason why I'm not as upset about the soft pad is like, yeah, it technically had more problems, but once you fixed it, it was actually fixed for a good while. With the LTEC, I could never get it fully fixed. I felt like the performance just sucked. Soft pad felt, it was great. I, I cleared 20s on it. I cleared 21s on this thing. Heavily grew of Tusa here. Um, it can develop bad problems at a high level, because like, I know for like runs, this thing was a monster. Absolutely S tier pad for uh, slip. For me, because I got used to it at least. It's like pure socks. Now, I will say the one difference about this experience with the soft pad, going on a soft pad versus a metal pad, is how. Okay, first of all, both of them are not the arcade experience. I have to let you know that, because these are both based on pressing down on a surface that will make a contact point, like a sandwich. Arcade sensors have four individual sensors, like when you press down on the panel. But yeah, like, you know, I, I still love that thing. I, I brought it to, like, family friends' houses. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm just so happy about this. I also made a design, too, for it. It was just a lot of fun in the process. The soft pad did technically give me a discount for shipping. But again, that wouldn't change my thoughts or bias towards it. I, it still has flaws. It still breaks in, like, two months, technically. But, you know, at the time, for the price, even without the discount, I think it was a great... I think it's uh, the value there. It's foldable. Granted, it can break if you do fold it, but you can play doubles. You can bring it around more easily. The metal pad's a lot more heavier. It's just a better bang for your buck, I still feel like. I'm playing with my brother. Look at me. I'm playing an S8. I'm flexing. And look at June go. Yeah, but tons of modding went into this thing. I'm not gonna lie. What am I doing? <laughs> this is probably me complaining, like, what the hell, it's not working, bro. This was literally three panels. Nice. Andy, you're so good at soldering. <laughs> oh my god! Look at me, I'm miserable! Uh... <laughs> still think I had a much better experience with that over the LTEC. I would still go back and be happy with my decision. Granted, the LTEC still works. My soft hat isn't. But that's up to you to decide if you think the performance is worth the, um, you know, the longevity about it. And I just want to say, please don't spread misinformation. Or not misinformation, it's just like, they move around a lot. Just get an anti-slip pad. S12, the, the, the cap of what it can handle. It's talking about probably the actual original soft pad from the Xbox and PS2 days. This is the PIU dance pads from Instagram. This is misinformation. Again, I've shown it, 4199 has shown it, this other guy who does GTA content can do it. It's got the LTEC, it's fucking great. No it isn't, it's sh Yeah, this is the guy I was talking about, and he look, his saw pad lasted longer. It's like, I technically got to use two of these saw pads. One for myself, and one for my school. And I've used my schools, and the sensitivity was really... It was kind of, it was kind of crappy, but I was still playing 16s on them, even like 17, 18s on them. But I could tell either maybe the unit I got that was more stiffer, maybe they need to break down more. I don't remember my original being like that. It felt a lot more stiff, and I think that means from the time I originally got mine, they upgraded the material. I posted this comment on it, ultimately saying to TLDR, 
Both pads are not going to be an arcade experience, but I think the soft pad is a better bang for your buck. The l -Tech is just frustrating because you pay for some, like a product you think is like premium, but what you actually get is sh The soft pad is like, I'm buying a soft pad and it surprised me for what it was at the time. And you know, I still enjoy the soft pad experience, you know, or it's like if both break, you can just enable autoplay. There's not too many people that own both pads, but I just want to give, you know, perspective on both of them. Seriously, for people who haven't tried the soft pad, don't say anything about it if you don't know what you're talking about. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If the soft pad is a lot more, because I know the shipping price has also increased a lot, it's your decision what pad you want to buy. I would say now, with the shipping costs being higher, I think the l -Tech is probably a better deal for your buck, but I also want you to think about your skill level and how you want to like like what do you want to do with this pad for me it's like i can have guests over i can play doubles on this thing i can have decent stock sensitivity bingo and that was the, that was the one for me if i had soldering issues i would have to go and fix them and if i broke the pad that's a skill issue on my part l tech i had to do that and more and it didn't even work in the end of the day so that's it